Hi everyone, it's Andrew, Sydney Private Guided Tours and uh, this video I'm recording from a Bali island. The Bali now, like Australia, open for tourists and if you have a certificate about double vaccination and uh, COVID insurance, you're welcome. In, on the Bali there are lots of interesting places and I share with you lots of them. Uh, after pandemic, Bali started to open up to the tourists. Some areas really affected by the pandemic, but uh, the Bali is starting, you know, it's returning back to normal. Very Our Bali is located about six hours flight from Sydney. And after exploring Australia, you could chill on the Bali and uh, Almost everything on the Bali a lot cheaper than, for example, Fiji, Hawaii or Tahiti. So this is a good stop before you fly home. My first stop on the Bali was in Ubud, a small town which located about one and a half hour drive from airport. So this is example of a $70 a night room. It's everything safe, fridge, TV quite spacious room and what impressed me at the backyard spa it's a private spa and it's this room $70 so that guy made it in Obut is a very spiritual town there are lots of historical ancient temples as well as a healing retreats where you can practice yoga or meditation or participate in uh, yoga party or watch uh, ceremonies. Another interesting place near Ubud is a Parkyu Ubud. It's like a city of creative people where you can meet your experts, uh, listen uh, professional music, dine in or a visit gym all in one place. Animals lovers uh, could visit uh, monkey forest in Ubud where there are lots of uh, monkeys uh, and uh, big banyan trees. Uh, rice fields is another attraction near the Ubud, especially at sunset. They are very beautiful. If you are a person who prefer to stay very fancy hotels, you won't be disappointed because there are lots of them around Ubud. To find them, just uh, Google the best luxury hotels in Ubud. Ubud located in the middle of uh, Bali island. So it's a very convenient place if you want to explore uh, northern parts of the Bali and uh, lakes, waterfalls or hot springs. Uh, one of the most popular itinerary from Ubud is a uh, tour to uh, hot springs. On the way to hot springs, uh, you can stop at the coffee plantation and uh, try the coffee famous in uh, Bali called the Luvak. And after, climb to the Batur mountain and enjoy after climbing in hot springs very well-known coffee called the cappuccino but because of the animal luwak which is actually eating good coffee and after poo it and the processing and we will try so they called it bali cat puccino very funny after a uh, bali cat puccino coffee plantation uh, i stop at the lookout towards the batur mount and after I will climb to Batur Mount with my local guide. It's compulsory, but it's cost about $50 for a personal guide who guide you to the top of the summit. Climbing to Batur Mountain takes about two hours and uh, it's about 450 meters climb from the bottom to the top and uh, on the top there are options to climb even higher to see uh, hot water steam it comes 
from a volcano. Connected to the pyre. When we blow this pyre, more smoke coming out. Look at it. Hot springs located near Bat Mount Batur, where I am going now. Uh, hi again, so we are uh, at the Toye Divasia hot spring. It's considered uh, the most uh, amazing hot spring on the Bali. So the temperature in the swimming pool about 32 degrees. And if you look behind me, there are beautiful view at the mountains and the lake, Batur Lake near the Batur mountain so we strongly recommend this place because 32 degrees there is no smell in the water there is no chemicals so it's just a relaxation at the highest ever level possible Another interesting direction is uh, Twin Lakes, where you can click beautiful photos with uh, two lakes and also visit waterfalls. There are a few waterfalls and one of them I will show you. Uh, near Twin Lakes Lookout there are lots of Instagram uh, spots. Uh, Banyamala Waterfall, which I am going to, uh, located uh, about 20 minutes walk it's kind of a jungle walk and the waterfall is beautiful fresh water the temperature of the water about 25 degrees and it's pretty clean and crystal so you can enjoy the lagoon you can swim in the lagoon and uh, just relax On the way back to Ubud, you'll pass uh, Strawberry Fields, visit uh, Handra Gates, very famous, and uh, uh, visit Ulan Danu Biratan Temple, literally translated as a source of the Temple of Lake Biratan, which is signature uh, temple of the Bali. See Lake Biratan, and sometimes you'll stuck with uh, all the ceremonies processing along the streets. Typical uh, beach on the Bali uh, looks like this and as you can see ocean water is not clean. If you're looking for the crystal clean ocean water without waves, I suggest you to go to Gili Islands. There are three islands, Gili Travangar, the big one, Gili Mene, medium one and Gili Air, the smallest one. Uh, you can get the islands by the speedboat ticket cost about 30 till uh, 40 dollars and uh, it takes you about two and three hours depends on the port you started to sail to Gili Island there are three uh, decks on a speedboat and I suggest you to uh, sit at the middle deck which is most quietest and enjoy the view through the window First stop on Gili Travangar Island, which is biggest and most busiest, uh, lots of infra infrastructure still uh, running, almost all hotels running, and uh, this is the most survival after pandemic island. Island Mirror. It's kind of an adventure from big boat. We're going to small one. And 
from small one to a small island. So we arriving Gili Main Island. Like a little paradise. Local island taxi because there are no motorbikes, no cars, it's eco-friendly island. Horse Uber. Horse Uber, yeah. Unfortunately, lots of infrastructure being destroyed by the COVID pandemic when there is no tourist, no money. But I found one hotel which is uh, survived and looking pretty good for a very small amount of money, about $50 ocean view on a beach hotel. Only in the middle of a Gili Mena Island, a big lake is a freshwater lake, and Ooh. there's fresh water in the taps. All other islands, the water in the tap uh, slightly salted, very slightly, but I feel it's a bit salted, even shower. As you can see, infrastructure before the COVID was pretty good, and I hope the island soon will recover again. So this is. Uh, Gili Mary Island, it's unfortunately it's only one beach on the whole island, so beautiful and clean, but it's worth it to visit. Look, this is so beautiful. This beach actually famous with uh, sea turtles. I haven't seen the sea turtles so far yet, but they are. Next day, I decided to travel to Gili Air, the smallest island. Now there is a hop on, hop off boat, and uh, we going to the island across this water. And it's about four dollars something a ticket. This on the right, it's a Lombok Island. So this is a local. Boat. Oh, there is a diver's boat. And uh, Gili Air. So on uh, Gili Air, like all others, islands, there are no buses, only local tuk-tuk on a horse. And uh, I love this personally, the fastest tuk-tuk with a Ferrari. So this is a Gili Air island next to Gili Mena and I'm staying on the one side of the uh, island where there's coral reef. You can see the totals, everything if you snorkel and there's a nice bungalows here and uh, this what you can expect, believe, just the waterfront. $25 a night with breakfast. So there is a cozy bungalow with air conditioning and uh, what's inside? Inside. Toilet and shower. On the Gili Air, 
island there are two very different sides. It's uh, eastern sides we are standing right now. See, there's almost no beaches, but a really beautiful coral reef. That's why lots of the divers. And uh, western side, there are lots of the beaches and uh, kind of a beach culture. So it's completely two different landscapes. And this is uh, western parts of the Gili Air, as you can see completely different situation. Only on a Gilia Air Island, there's a tradition. Every night, all the cafes and the nightclubs uh, at the beach uh, lit the fire, and people joining at the fire and dancing, drinking, and enjoying the fire. <laughs> Next morning, I decided to explore Gili Travangan Island. So this is uh, Gili Travan Island, the largest island from free. And uh, we've been before on uh, Gili Mena and Gili Air. So in front of us is Gili Mena, beautiful island. You see this pretty crystal clean water. And we explore this uh, island with a, a lot more hotels rather than on the previous two and see what's going on here there are lots of fishes every island same uni taxi way to move around the island is just to use bicycles it's pretty cool houseboat hotels on uh, Travangan, a lot higher than on uh, Mena or Air. And uh, on the Travangan we have promenade, pretty good. So this is a speedboat between Bali and uh, the islands. And it's now it's going to one of the islands. And we right now on uh, Travang Island, the largest. Okay. This is the uh, northern parts of the Travangan Island, and as you can see here, not really good beaches. Wow, and the big waves, and it's a bit. You know, infrastructure a bit destroyed. If you're riding a bit far away from the center of the port, like port area, the city, almost here, this 
promenade was not as good and uh, bit deserted and uh, ruined by the COVID. Today is a full moon and high tide and people struggling, you know, the water everywhere. Looks like a flood disaster today. Uh, you can see from a viewpoint of the uh, Travangan Island, the two islands on the horizon. There's a closed one is uh, Mena and uh, far in the distance uh, Gili Air. After uh, riding on the bike around the whole Travangar Island, I decided that Gili Beach on uh, Gili Travangar Island, this is the best. Tuna steak at Padong Santi restaurant. After testing breakfast on a Giri Air, and I'm going to another journey to Komodo Islands. So it takes four days and three nights and uh, lots of beautiful stops. The best way to get Komodo Islands is by plane. So it's about a one hour flight from Denpasar Airport, from Bali to Komodo Island. Alternatively, you can uh, buy the cruise as I did, but again, it's very risky. The conditions on the cruise is good for, you know, young people for backpackers but if your family or if you prefer comfortable cruising it's not definitely for you i took a risk and you will see what i got cruise ticket uh, cost about 300 dollars or 500 dollars for the cabin and it's uh, all the food included it's about four days and three nights sailing 500 kilometers covering by cruise and uh, before you have to drive across the Lombok Island to the opposite side to get uh, the cruise ship. Hi, going to Komodo Islands and uh, this is a boat. Uh, just not really as luxury as five star but we'll see how it's going. All the boats here are kind of a handyman production line uh, and uh, they are very noisy. It's possible to sleep on the top deck where we're all people sleeping without privacy. And if you book the cabin, which will be right on the top of the engine, it's just a waste of money because it's so noisy. You can't even imagine. The first islands on the course of our cruise. It looks like stopping. Night of sailing. We eventually reached the Muni Island. It's a similar boat. And the island. On this island, it's also the waterfalls. Ouch! We're on the island from our boat and uh, 20 minutes hiking to the waterfall. So we're going through the jungles, 20 minutes walk to the waterfall.
to Komodo Island. Uh, hi everyone, uh, finally we arrived uh, Komodo Island. Uh, I recommend you to go to Komodo Island by plane because by boat it's a little bit extreme. So this is uh, Komodo Island, there's a uh, number of islands and this is the biggest one. As you can see the Komodo Island civilized, there are some hostels on the Komodo Island, good diving and this is a fancy boat took us from Lombok Island to Komodo Island. Hope we will see alive, not on this statue. So the local guys searching for Komodo. National Park especially at Komodo Island and now you are on the small spot in Komodo Island it's called Loh Liang and it was taken by a local language here so it's mean bay and Lian is mean the whole meaning Komodo's nest it's very cute it's a young male <laughs> Okay, we we have to keep distance with this because uh, when we get closer, they will go away. It's a nest of Komodo dragon. They they dig the hole. Okay, for my group. Now we are sailing to the pink beach. It's very unique beach with a pink sand. And in front of us Komodo Island. white sand and going well recognized pinky color and becoming white again from a pinky beach let's climb to the local hill and see what's going on from there from the top of the local mountains Panky Beach looks much better. And this is our landscaping. Amazing. And 
and uh, this is a view towards the pinky beach if you rotating counterclockwise. So heavy stream. I'll keep them. We here to see sunset as a special bay and the hills from where there is a good sunset just steps up to the top of a hill to see sunset there are lots of maybe thousand steps to up to the top of a hill this is the first look out and the beautiful mountains it looks so beautiful i'll show you sunset A lot more steps ahead to get 200 meters lookout. So we keep climbing before we click videos on lookout below. You can see it, and we go in high and high to the skies, to the stars. My crew is going uh, to final destination and soon really beautiful mountains. There are lots of mountains around and you can see the very, very picturesque mountains on the horizon. It's all Indonesia. A small town of fishermen. This is the most beautiful spot for snorkeling. Millions of fishes, all sighting spots during the cruise can be accessible from Labuan Banja, a major town of Kamoda Island. Amazing snorkeling, lots of fishes, and we're going to the new side. The last stop before Labau Badja, and uh, on our cruise, and it's a really amazing spot with a crystal clean water, snow clean, and then a real crystal ocean in uh, Labua Banjo it's a small local town and a gateway to Kamoda Island 
sunset in Labuan Banja. Very crystal ocean and there are lots of uh, five-star hotels where you can chill in uh, crystal clean water. So water in low one banja beaches very crystal very clean and warm little secret place where you can swim with no people on Laba Bajo. This is still at Labuan Bajo and I am uh, off-road on this motorbike with a professional rider. <laughs> so we go in there they'll see the beautiful places and I will show you in my video the good spots to go. I'm on the top of a local hill and uh, filming for you panoramic view. Uh, bay near uh, Labuan Banjo, a gateway to Komodo Islands. So I explored the pool at, on the bay of this hill and see there's a kind of numbers of islands which I will explore tomorrow by uh, kayaking to the beaches there Indonesia is uh, endless has uh, endless numbers of the islands and whatever you look to horizon you can see new island Labuan Baja is a place of sunset paradise So this is a local fish market. So every fish about 15 till 10 dollars and it will be cooked and with rice and people sitting and eating. So it's pretty cheap, lots of options. I am on the top of the local hill and this is a bay of the Labuan Banja, a local town and a view. Islands ahead can be accessed by the kayaking. It takes about half an hour kayaking from uh, shore. Really nice place and uh, beaches with no people on. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm finishing my journey from uh, Bali Island to. Uh, Komodo Islands and uh, today I'm returning back to Bali Island. The next video will be from Echangu. Goodbye Komodo Islands. So I'm in Changu. I can see the different ocean at the Bali Island. And it's a water a bit murky or not as crystal cream and this is a mecca of surfers. Changu is a place with uh, uh, lots of uh, 
markets, uh, restaurants, very fancy, some of them, and uh, nightlife, especially uh, at night, there are lots of uh, nightclubs open to surfers and backpackers. COVID financial disaster, you can see everywhere. This hotel bankrupted and now in ruins. Another example of the pandemic affection of businesses. You see there is a beach club hotel and no tourist. Fancy place with a cool bar and clean beach. So this is a uh, Nusa Beach, Nusa Doa Beach, and uh, this I would say the most cleanest water on the Bali. There are some places also available, but they are not as accessible as this. So the place called the Nusa Doa or Nusa Doa, I was in an Indonesian calling. Again, you see this. Unfortunately, there are lots of the rubbish which is uh, clean but not perfectly and this area with uh, lots of uh, luxury hotels like uh, Hyatt and uh, others this is the result of the covid destruction all local restaurants cafes nightclub closed and uh, that has really happened in two years of a no tourist result. Uh, last my day on the Bali I spent on local kite competition. At the end I would like to tell you about my business. In Australia my company organizing private tours since 2006 year. From 2015 up to present year we awarded with certificate of excellence by TripAdvisor every year. I suggest you to contact our company if you are going to travel to Australia and Indonesia. I think it is a good itinerary if you spend a few weeks in Australia and after a few weeks in Indonesia together. Hope you enjoy my video. All the best and see you on our tours soon. Bye.